Hey, thanks for tuning in. In this video, I'm going to talk about Proverbs is not the law. We've probably seen examples where certain passages or teachings from Proverbs are equated with the law. They are treated as if they are commandments. One example of this might be regarding drinking. There are passages in Proverbs that advocate against drinking, especially excessive drinking. And sometimes these passages are used to say that it is wrong to drink wine in excess. Or also passages in Proverbs about sparing the rod. Sometimes this is used to say it's a biblical command to treat your children a certain way, when actually it's not a part of the commands. It is simply a part of Proverbs. And we have to make this distinction because the commands of the law are the commands that were delivered through Moses, the commandments of the Torah. And the Torah, the scroll of the Torah, was completed by Moses right before his death. And that being the case, we realize that the book of Proverbs isn't going to contain the commandments of Moses, that the book of Proverbs likely came along much later than that, and it was not considered as a part of the Torah because the Torah was already completed well before that, and the Torah came through Moses. So recognizing that, obviously we're not going to be looking to Proverbs for the law, even though some advocate for doing that, because we don't want to be adding to the law or taking away from the law. And that being the case, we may still have to guard ourselves, because there are certain passages we may have heard from the book of Proverbs and that we agreed with and believed in, and we may still believe in those things and assume that they are the wisdom of Elohim. And if we assume that, while we have no intention of adding to the law, we may assume that it must be a part of the law somehow, that somehow the law must teach this thing. And that may or may not be the case. So for this reason, we have to guard ourselves because for the most part, no one intends to change the law. No one intends to add to it or take away from it, assuming they believe in the law to begin with. But we can still do it unintentionally if we treat other teachings and other writings as if they are law, and then we assume the law must teach likewise. So let us guard ourselves and let us be aware of this distinction, the distinction between the law and everything else. Thanks for watching. Remember the commands. Shalom.